Hey everybody, Beyond You 89 here, bringing you another episode of Coal Creek Park, where today's going to be kind of a catch-up episode. Um, I was kind of looking back at some old videos there and realized that I didn't include any of this new stuff in any official Coal Creek Park uh, video. So I thought today I'd just kind of do a quick little look around and uh, walk through of the new area, which is pretty much all the way complete, but as you can see, like I haven't done this bridge here because I hate bridges and I procrastinate them. I don't know what it is with me and bridges, but like I can do them fine and they always turn out pretty okay, but just going into them, they're always just so daunting to me, which is why I cover everything with water and put bridges everywhere, of course, anyways. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd just kind of come down here and take a look at some of the new stuff that I failed to put into um, a video yet. So here we are kind of walking down from, just to get your bearings. Uh, that's our log flume area right there. So we're kind of walking down from uh, this way across from the wharf area. And as you come, you'll be able to see, there it is. Yeah, the big old sundial uh, in the distance. That's your, um, <laughs> I guess you'd say that's your weenie, that's your eye candy right there. And uh, ooh, a little stagger. Um, yeah, that's another, oh, we're a few staggers. Another thing I've had a, uh, I've had to close the park off to guess as of now. Um, we're attracting about 5,000 to 5,500 guests, give or take. So um, that is making my computer run a little sluggish there, uh, but that's okay. I'll be able to um, hopefully get some guests in here um, soon. So the first thing that we see here is a little historic cave. And um, I don't, why did I put this here? It. I think it just reminded me, or I had a memory of when I used to visit down in Hot Springs, Arkansas, um, and we would go into like mining caves and historic caves there And uh, when we visited, and I just, this whole area right here, it was just uh, kind of, um, how do you say, it's just barren. I could have just put some rocks, I could have just put some trees and whatnot. I decided, you know what, let's put a freaking cave right there. So I went ahead and did that, um, just kind of figuring maybe the cave was existing there when the park was built here, and they're like, you know what, let's take advantage of this, let's go ahead and build it out and put a gift shop, because duh, it's a theme park, so gift shop. So here's your hole in the wall gifts, um, and then it eventually leads to a nice vista point here of a little uh, area with uh, stalag tights, stalag mites. The pointy rocks from the ground in the ceiling? I don't know. Someone let me know what they are. Um, but yeah, there's your little uh, cave there. It's nothing uh, really spectacular, but it's one of those little details in parks that I love to see. So I um, figured, sure, we should have it here in Coal Creek. Um, another new little thing for this area was this, uh, again, really simple. I, I'm trying to keep it really simple with all the builds that I'm doing here. Um, but it's this little barrel fountain. Um, just a bunch of barrels, the water effects, and the... I think it's from Alpha or the pirate um, scenery there, just a little pirate fountain. So uh, before we go to the sun dial, we will go across here because the Ferris wheel is new. And again, going to be working on the bridge uh, very soon. I just procrastinate bridges because they're the absolute worst for me. Um, but yeah, new over here is obviously the Ferris wheel and a little lesser known um, that I actually just added in before I hit record here because I realized this was barren over here. Let's put in this little boat dock and it quite nicely kind of just uh, kind of capped off this whole little area right here. And um, there is your Ferris wheel for over here. And I'm super original, sarcasm please be noted. Uh, I named it the big wheel there, which uh, you know, it's a Ferris wheel, big wheel, sure. But there you go, that's our Ferris wheel for the park there and uh, made a little bit um, different theming kind of stand out a little bit you have some, some uh, more color over here um, very white and whatnot so there you go and oh a very subtle thing but took for freaking ever but it was super neat it was this kind of uh, foundation line right here of concrete so um, yeah I know that's like really entertaining isn't it wow concrete but no seriously it took a while and um so let's go ahead and make our way back over here to the sundial, um, which I left the name sundial, because why not? Sure, it worked. Um, but yeah, no, this I, I really like this little area over here. It kind of uh, turned out pretty nicely there um, with your QSR, quick service restaurant, um, little drinking fountain area, and then finally the uh, ride there. And it's just, uh, again, a nice little cap off for this little peninsula that we have uh, going here. So. Uh, nothing too special about the, I called it Shanty Shack, and now that I 
it out loud. I think I've named something else in this park Shanty Shack, and I'm showing way too much stuff to the right. Um, but oh well, I'll go. I'll go back and uh, maybe think of a different name. But it's basically just uh, inspired just by a like. You know, old hillbilly abandoned, maybe not so abandoned shack. You got your outhouse in front there, and you know it's just kind of not all the way run down looking, but a little bit run down. And uh, again, it's just a QSR, uh, and it's just like do a, a hoot dog squad there. And on the outside, you had your little tent here, which I placed a few of these down um, as water uh, pip shot waters, I believe. Oh no, it's information. Well, I need to change that. It needs to be a pip shot water. Um, there you are. So that is I'm pretty sure I hit everything that I wanted to as far as new stuff goes. Oh, don't mind that. Just when the guests were coming out of this thing, there was yak all over the place. So I had to fix that. But um, yeah, again, I think that kind of wraps up the newer areas here. Um, it wasn't a whole lot, right? Like I said, it was just a lot of uh, newer-ish stuff, um, a lot of simple stuff, but I just wanted to show it off, get everyone caught back up. And we'll do a quick overlay here. So there is the park as it stands now. Again, I'm keeping this corner over that way, uh, not shown for a reason. And there's gonna be an episode on that extremely soon. I'm just about wrapped up um, with editing and whatnot of the new dive coaster area. And then I think after that, since we are, if we take a look out that way, about halfway done with the entire park, we'll probably, after we get the dive coaster area, do a quick walkthrough of the entire park in detail. Um, so yeah, again, thanks for uh, stopping by today. Uh, I know it's a little bit quicker of an episode, but I did, like I said, just want to get y'all caught back up where uh, the state of the park is as of right now. Um, and again, if you're new here, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button as there will be another episode coming up very soon of a dive coaster in that entire area. Um, and again, please uh, give that the video a like here. It does help out the channel. And uh, we'll be back with a new episode of Coal Creek Park. Um, another Six Flags uh, demon recreation, and uh, probably a few other videos coming out very, very soon. So thanks again, y'all. You have a good day now. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. bridge here and whatnot but i did add a few things that i didn't include in any official oh there's a bug it was big too it's like a Ooh, it's like a millipede i need a thing i need like a i need like a don't go in the wall oh it's going in the wall no you're gonna die